Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here am I, send me. And he said to them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation. But you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you, and you will be my witness in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria, and to all the ends of the earth. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. But sanctify Christ as the Lord in your hearts, always being ready to make a defense to everyone who asks you to give an account for the hope that is in you, yet with gentleness and reverence. The Lord said to him, Who has made man's mouth, or who makes him mute or deaf, or seeing or blind? Is it not I, the Lord? Now then go, and I, even I, will be with your mouth and teach you what you are to say. Declare his glory among the nations, his marvelous deeds among all peoples. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, because everywhere I send you, you shall go, and all that I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of them, for I am with you to deliver you, declares the Lord. Then the Lord stretched out his hand and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. How lovely on the mountains are the feet of him who brings good news, who announces peace and brings good news of happiness, who announces salvation and says to Zion, your God reigns. And he was saying to them, the harvest is plentiful, but the labors are few. Therefore, beseech the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. Behold, I send you out as sheep in the midst of wolves, so be shrewd as serpents and innocent as doves. Amen.